How you doing everyone? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Today's episode, we are going to continue exactly where we left off, as usual, uh, for now anyway, because uh, I don't really need to do anything off camera and let it r roll, because my dupes might die at any point, and I don't really want them to die off camera. Um, they're, I'm kind of trying to get my bearings here of where I want to go with this. And I think that we could probably branch into... I need to get more supplies. I mean, actually, no, we're, we're all right for supplying, like, like supplies. Our, our supply, t like our little storage bins here, they're actually all right. They're, they're not bad. They're, they're not even full. To be honest, there's not a lot of rubbish. Actually, there is a lot of rubbish kicking around. But for now, we're all good. So I'm just going to press press the play button and see, see what happens. And then we go from there. So at the moment, we're building these little plants here, which release carbon dioxide. Not carbon dioxide, oxygen. Um, but you got to feed them algae, which is this stuff here. This is algae, and it's, this is really good for oxygen, early game, that, I, that I'm aware of. Um, but yeah, we're, we're focusing on building this um, this bedroom here, which is, is it's okay, but there's not a lot of oxygen in there. But that's what, hopefully, that's what Wild is now sorting out. And we want to make sure that these guys are prioritised for their, uh, to be topped up. We got any more? I'm pretty sure we got another one. Is that one down here? Just got to make sure they're, like, they got priority. So I kind of want to just kind of, so we've made this into the temporary bathroom for now. Um, what's the priority on that? I forgot since yesterday, because it's, not, in real life, another day has passed. And, um, yeah, I kind of don't want them focusing on this yet. Because we want to, I'm, I'm building up here just to gather these resources. These resources are going to be really good. And our water supply seems to be okay. We're good with that. I want to break into here, but there's a lot of carbon dioxide that's going to leak into our quarters. I kind of don't really want that to happen. But at the same time, I, I feel like we're going to be okay for now. So we've got egg, edgy fire and that trying to go up here. And lots of, there's lots of algae, and we definitely need copper. I think that we're actually quite low on copper. Like, to the point where we... Can I have a look? Hmm. I kind of want to deconstruct this, um, this treadmill thing here. And then these batteries are full, so I definitely don't want to do anything with that. But I want to... I want to make another one sort of here for now, and then we're going to hook it up to the mains. So eventually that's going to get hooked up. This is going to get deconstructed, and then we can focus on power. Uh, we def Oh yeah, that's what we could do with. We could do with like, um, like a food hall. That would be nice. So I'm thinking of making this... Um, can we can we break into that yet? I'm not sure if we've got anyone that can break granite yet. I, I think we have. I think we have. So we've got the OD there. He's mining away. Get some copper. That's good. And we've got Edgy Far and everyone building this area here. So this is quite priority right now. But eventually... Um, eventually, yeah. we want The main goal for now is to become sustainable. And um, yeah. I've... In between episodes, like I've been playing this game, it's really cool. It's I've already um, my casual game's already ended, so I'm like, yeah, I, I was in a downward spiral. I had eight people. This ain't gonna give you much confidence for my little little dupes here uh, running around, my little Patreon dupes. But yeah, my casual game has ended now, and I've started again, and I'm quite happy to start again because this game is super replayable to a degree. No two games are going to be the same because the world gen is going to be different. Um, there's lots of water around which is really nice. But I'm trying to think where I want to go next. I can't, We kind of need... Hmm. Yeah, I could probably make this into kind of... Um, maybe... Yeah, let's, let's dig this out. So, I don't really want it... Hmm. 
Oh, it's four tiles. That's nice. So we can, if we dig this out, for one, that's going to get us resources. And for two, we can make a kind of like eating area here. I think for now that will do. Eventually, I'm probably going to check it, it, it. Like, let's assume that these guys are going to survive. Um, I'll do my best, by the way. But let's assume they survive. I'm going to eventually, like, I don't know. Met, like, things will change over time, right? So they've done all this up here. So I kind of want to give this priority nine. All of this here is going to get priority nine. So that we can... How many beds? We've got more than enough beds, which is good. Just looking at the beds here, and yeah, we, we don't even have that many dupes. To be honest, I'm going to very much calm down on dupes. I mean, for now, our, our food intakes... Oh, that's the thing we've got to do. Food. Food. Hmm. So we could do with a area for crops then. So we want to get some agriculture going. In fact, how's our research doing? What are we researching? Is that wild down there? What are you researching, wild? Advanced research. Oh, right, okay. So... What are we doing? Aha, uh -huh. advanced research here. Yeah, so we're aiming for... Yeah, we were aiming for the supercomputer, which, which expands our research like crazy. Like super crazy. Like so I'm I'm happy with that. That's fine. Keep up the good work. Right. So they are now tunneling this out, which is really nice. We've got that going. It's a little bit uneven here, but I can manage. And Yes. I think I think we're all good for now. We got the OD is supplying power here. How What's this priority? Let's get this other power thing going. And we're going to start supplying more batteries down here. So, we're going to get the jumbo battery, which we researched. Which enables us to store way more. But they take up two slots. So, if we go, say... Let's put a gap between them and do that. And then once these are depleted, we will get shot with them. I should really prioritise them as I'm building, but that's fine. And then that what these these hold four times as much, but I think over every like cycle or day, which is called a cycle. Oh, we've got research complete now. Advanced research. So now we can make a supercomputer, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So let's pause it a second. Uh, stations. Supercomputer. Uh, you could also reset your skills with a skill scrubber, which is pretty neat. Because uh, as time goes on, your dupes get more experienced. This is the supercomputer, which will allow us to do more advanced research. So we definitely want to do that. And we want to hook that up. And again, I should have done priority nine. There we go. Priority nine. Uh, let's do some more research quick. So we've got to wait for that to be built. So we could probably do some like lower end um, stuffs. We could do with actually researching some liquids. That would be nice. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. And sanitation. We could do with some toilets here. A sink. That looks like a better sink. I'm not going to lie. And showers. Yeah, we're definitely going to go down that route. Because... So we're going to go f plumbing first, then sanitation, so we can unlock the lavatory. The lavatory is cool. We get, also get liquid pumps, and we, we can pump liquids around, which is going to be super handy. Like, super handy. Um, there's loads of stuff here. There's like It is very overwhelming, and I'm, there's a lot of items here that I've not even looked at yet. So it's But it's really fun and cool. And every time you, like, fail a game and all your colonists die it's kind of like a lesson learned and you kind of try and not to do the same mistakes again these guys are very much 
on the case. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's just do that. So we're gonna get in this little room here. Can we build doors? I would like a door here. I'm gonna build like a little pneumatic door here. I think they're on break now. Yeah, downtime. Uh, up here in the left, it always says um, if there's like a schedule change. And these are like FYIs up here telling you that we got we don't have enough um, oxygen generation going on. So if we want to have a look at the oxygen, there's under up the top right here, there's like overlays. And on the furthest icon, the one that says oxygen overlays, we can see how breathable our base is. And not very. I feel like we need more oxygen stuff. We'll put another one of those things there. Should have prioritized it. You can prioritize it as you build. I just forget. Um, these dark blues are not... I think it's because we've recently tunneled these out. So there was no oxygen in there to begin with. So... What we could do, what we should do is just like, I don't know, just put them there with a priority nine. There we go. So, yeah, so you've got overlays here. So you've got, um, I don't know, I've probably gone over this, but um, you've got overlays, power. So you can see all the power stuff, all the power cables. You can see the temperature of the place. Let me just pause a minute. Um, so, on you got like a, a legend on the on the right hand side saying, like um, blue is not good or red. You want to be kind of green or yellow, to be honest. Ideally, uh, green means you're in good shape. Like you got yellow bits, which means it's warming up. Over here in the top right, you can see it's like got igneous rock. It's kind of an orange. That means it's hot. And if you hover over it, you can see the, like, uh, when you hover a tile, you get information about it, like coal here. You can see the temperature of that coal. That coal is like 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can change the game to Fahrenheit if you prefer, just FYI. But over here, look, you can see it's getting 44 degrees. So it's, it's quite hot. That is actually really hot. If we look at the uranium, uranium is super cold. That's minus three degrees. So that's freezing. So if our people would go in there not only do they probably get radiation they would probably um, get really cold and get hypothermia or something crazy like that uh, you've got uh, materials overlay I don't know what that means oh you can filter out where all the metal is so if I was to click the metal rather than all because all shows you everything it's like if you want to see where just the metal is you can pinpoint where all metal is so you've got copper here I don't think there's any other, I've never seen any other, like, me metals. Oh, there is iron. There's iron there. I've got, obviously, uranium. Got uranium. What else have we got? Yellow's up here. So that's gold. Okay, that's cool. What about coal? We saw some coal. Where's coal? Coal? I'm pretty sure we saw coal. Is coal not like an, like an ore? It's not metal, though, is it? Let's be honest. Um... So yeah, you can do your minerals, that's cool. Light, how much light you've got emitting in your base. So at the moment, our base is like extremely dark, like super duper duper dark. So yeah, there's that. Um, but these bugs, these are like little bugs here or animals or whatever, they emit light or you got the light from the portal. So for example, you might have people that don't like to sleep in light. I think, I'm not sure if that's like a a negative trait thing but or every if if anyone was to sleep in this area they wouldn't be able to sleep because of the light so this where this ration box is right here would be a no-no but maybe here would be okay kind of thing and then you've got plumbing i don't think we've got any plumbing yet so you can see pipes ventilation so you can see like gas pipes or anything like that gas related decor like anything that's red is negative and they you can like boost morale and stuff like that this is how i understand the game anyway 
Um, I'm still learning, so I might get some of this wrong. Um, and then you got like, yes, yeah, so you got like positive decor, and, and and yeah. So this, these light bugs, um, are a positive thing. Light is good. Like, we can see there by the portal, light is good. So there's lots of factors that can help your colony, but there's lots of factors that cannot. You got germs overlay. This is really cool. <laughs> like. This is a slime biome down here, and I think, yeah, so the colors represent the germs, and this this is the source. I think we've gone over this a little bit, but you've got slime here, zombie spores. Can we get zombies in this game? That'd be really neat. Um, these are food poisoning. This is what, these yellow germs are, are the, probably the most common in your base, and this is what's going to get us food poisoning. Like, this dude here is saturated in germs. Like, you wouldn't believe. But we can help filter that out, which is cool. So, this... Oh, yeah, yeah, I will get to that in a minute. I've just noticed something, I think. Farming overlay. So, you can see all, like, agricultural stuff, like, plants and stuff. Actually, you can see their health by the looks of it. So, I'm actually learning some stuff, actually, by going over these tabs with you. Room overlays. So... When you hit a certain criteria in each room, like for example, if we wanted a bedroom, barracks it'd be, basically. So if we wanted to make an official barracks, we need single beds. Wait, does that mean cots? No industrial machinery, yeah. Is this technically not a barracks then? I'm wondering if you need a door for it to register. So let's let's hit play a minute and let's come out of this. Oh, and you got radi radiation as well. So I want to get rid of this to put a door here. I'm, I'm curious a second. Because when we go in the room tab, um, we can definitely make a, a barracks, right? And that gives us a morale bonus. Morale plus one. So while they're sleeping, let's deconstruct this guy um, I don't think that's a good idea though let's let's do this then let's take this last this last bed here and put one there So what I want to do is I want to try and see if you have to have a door to make it a... It doesn't specify that you need a door though. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. There's been a lot of explaining on this, like going over the overlays. I do apologise if, if this one's not being that great, but... I'm learning as you you guys are, I think. Right, let's, let's make that door. In fact, let's make it priority nine. And this should determine whether that goes into a barracks or not. It says single bed though, not a cot. So, let's pause it a second. Before we go, let's type in bed. And try and find that ladder bed. Sick bay. Comfy bed, plastic ladder, plastic tile. There's there's nothing saying about a, like a, a bed type. Let's type in single a minute. Let's see if what comes up. Uh -huh. Ooh, it might be under decor actually. Huh? The pedestals. This this is actually could be good to get into at some point soon. I can't see any, like, single bed items, like, things to place, right? Ranching, it wouldn't be under that. No, so, I don't know then. I, I really don't know. That supercomputer's getting built, which is good. It's going to be good for next time. Happy for that. And then the door's getting built. Let's have a look to see if that makes a difference. Because a barracks is single bed, or is it just literally... Oh, wait. Bedroom. 
single... Okay, so we, we can do barracks. Right, we're going to do that next episode. So, guys, um, I'm going to... I don't know whether to do barracks or a, or a bedroom. I mean, you can always do barracks first. Turn it into a barracks because they get morale bonus and plus... Hmm. So there's one single bed in a room. So basically they've got to have their own room, no machinery, and minimum size of 12 tiles. So I'm guessing... That's not length, that's total. So that's, what, four by three? I guess we, we'll do this next episode. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna literally renovate the, this sleeping quarters. That's that's what we're gonna do, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably start on the top layer here, and and because then we don't jeopardize them not being able to sleep. Anyways, thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, we like there was a lot of lot of info going over the overlays. I was also trying to learn with you guys, so. There's a lot, lot, lot going on in this game. It's great. See you in the next one. Take it easy. Dibs out.